Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Chaser, who is not good at algorithms. I'm making these videos to prepare my interview next month. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a look at 249 group shifted strings. We're given a string, we can shift each of its letter to its successive letter. For example, A, B, C, we can move A to B, B to C, C to D. We can keep, we can keep shifting which forms the sequence like a b c to until we get x y z x y z and we can still shift right y z a uh, give a list of strings which contains only lowercase alphabets group all strings that belong to the same shifting sequence like a b c of course b c t we have x y z and a z if we move move it further like uh, a z for a of course b for z Next one is A, right? So, so A, A, Z, and B, A belongs to the same sequence. And A, Z, uh huh. So, how could we do this? Um, I think first, let's analyze the, what's the characteristics of these, these strings, why these strings belong to each other. A B C B C D. Of course, we can we can do this do the shifting one by one, but it's 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 like uh, will cost so much time. And uh, let's just focus on the string itself. A B C B C A. Even we shift like uh, no matter how we shift, there are some characteristics here, right? It means the uh, the distance between these uh, letters doesn't change. Right, because you shift this. The second letter was still shift. So, if you chose an A B C, D, like the distance between these letters will be one and two, right? Like A one B uh, Z, zero, mm, yeah zero B one D. This distance would not change. If you change it to B, it still be. Uh, B zero C right and then one uh, uh, E right and so actually we can extract uh, like like uh, doing a hash from this string we just do with one linear time to do through this string and get the the, the the distance hash right between the letters so the, the hash here would be uh, zero one right so if the string has the hash of zero one we can group them together we're not required to keep the order or something we're not told to let's suppose that we could return the result in any order well there's a problem of ba you see uh, for az it actually would be 25 uh, this is uh, 24 i think 25 26 right 26 uh, alphabets right okay and then we got the Z and uh, a uh, Z oh, no way no way wait, wait. B and uh, a right this is what, what is this this is minus one so actually um this is zero. Mm, minus one. It's uh, how can we solve this problem? Um, if it is minus, like uh, if it is minus, I think we could. Okay, so so we're we're getting the distance. So the here zero. Uh, this is 25 so actually the here is 25 right and this is minus 1 okay here would be 1 right 0 25 25 uh, a mm, 1 this is 2 okay mistake 2 this is, should be 1 2 and uh, a 25 and here would be minus one. So yeah, if it is minus, we would transform it to uh, change it to plus twenty six. So transform it to twenty five. Well, 
because we're like uh, a shifting shifting it into infinite loop this doesn't matter and then there's a special case that if it was one letter there would be no distance right well for this case uh, it's just okay right <laughs> if this one it is okay so with a hash here is the hash here it would be um, how can I say we're using the string right uh, the, the consequence of uh, the consequence uh, uh, no 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 sequence of the uh, distance would I think I would join them with uh, underscore like one two this will be 24 five if there's something would be like one or two or something if this is empty because empty it's empty string okay so cool now let's do it so we need to create a hash method we create a string this will uh, create a, a distance uh, a string join by the by distance between letters okay now for let string for each of the string and the result would be of course a map right map hash and uh, array uh, array okay string array that's the result map new map cool now so we get a hash okay get hash get hash of string if result map doesn't have this hash we uh, set hash to empty array and then we could map and get hash and push the string and finally we will return the uh, result map the uh, values right okay so now we will do uh, the get hash problem of course the hash we will use a new array the distances is empty array. We loop through the string. Mm, the first one, there's no distance, so actually we'll start with one. Okay, so the distance says we'll push stra at char character at code right at i minus stra code at i minus one ah oh, at that there's a problem of the of the minus minus right minus negative numbers Okay, I'll define a const here. Uh, then lower alphabets. So then all alpha letters. Okay. Equals 26, right? And then we will do this. In case of its minus, we plus it and uh, uh, divide it. Uh, mod by itself, right? Okay, so it's if it's uh, twenty, if, if it's twenty five, then we plus. If it's negative, max like minus one, we plus twenty six. It's become twenty five. Yeah, sure, and then we can push the distance in. 
And then what we turn, we return a distance, this is and uh, join with underscore. Mm -hmm. Let's try running run the code. Yeah, it seems like it's work, working. Cool. Submit. Uh oh. Yeah, not that bad. Hmm. Twenty-five, twenty-three. Not that, not that fast. Not that bad. Oh uh, well. Let's try to analyze where whether we could improve this. Uh, the first thing is uh, comes to my mind is that. Uh, comes to mind by that uh, maybe the join here is not that fast because we're using array I think I could use the the ha get a hash I just uh, loop through it and the while just update it right let hash empty if this we will add, we will add it directly to distance and then I return this hash. Will this be faster? Mm, yeah. I know. Not that much, but maybe a little. And now we use a map, right? And then we get the hash. You pass, we push. And finally, we will loop through the map and uh, transform it, convert it into, uh, get the values and convert it to array. Seems okay. But what if we, uh, what if, what if, what if we are uh, uh, just to create the result? And uh, to to remove these final values, check like we're getting a hash. But now the, the map would be now the map would be hash with the index. Okay, so the hash if it doesn't have hash, we set we uh, result push an empty array. Result map set hash to uh, result uh, result dot net minus one right we update the index and so now we result map get the hash and this is the index so we get the result array and push the string and finally we could res return the result with this might be a little faster hmm doesn't change well hmm might be a little faster anyway Let's try to analyze the time and the space complexity. Actually, the idea is very straightforward. Time um, for each string, we traverse through all them, all of them, right here. Get the hash, get the map set something, and uh, we use an extra map, which is the length of uh, the possible uh, hashes. So. Uh, and uh, for each string, which loops through all of the letters and gets the hash, so the time would be uh, all characters, all letters. Then, and the space would be o, all possible uh, hashes, which is for worst case, o strings limit. Cool, and that's all for this problem, I think. Uh, before we go, let's try to see what the other peoples are doing. There's no solution here, you see. See why, how they could be so fast. Group string, okay, get shift key of string. Yeah, we're doing the same, right? Yeah, we're doing the same, actually. We join, okay. Shift, get. Oh man, I'm doing the same with this guy, but I'm doing the same with this guy, but uh, I'm just uh, so slow. Why? 
Wow, this intrigues me, so I'll just take a closer look. <clears throat> so, uh, what is he is doing? You see, the group values is just as we did before. Okay, I'll just uh, re, uh, go back to the previous in implementation. Why we're slow? Okay, this should work, right? Hmm. Okay, so it says uh, loop through the string. We get the shift key, uh -huh. and then we get from the map. If there is no array is empty, and the set arr set it, and then push. Mm -hmm. I think we're basically doing the same. I return the values. Okay, cool. And then this is the same. Uh, get the shift key. A code, A code is not used, right? Okay, get shift key. If it's, there's no empty, we return empty. If it's one, we return one. And the rest, we loop through it and the push. The code difference plus 26 mod by 26 and join it. Wow, we are the same, man. We're doing the same, right? 26 get hash. Oh, I see. If it is empty, maybe this costs an extra time. Let's try it. String could not be empty, so if string then equals one, we just return empty. Mm -hmm. Not changing. And this is the same. So if if it is this problem, you first get it. If not, it will set it and push. Wow, this. It shouldn't be the case, right? I think uh, group equals result get hash if group reset undefined. We need to use let. Still. Still, nothing special. Mm -hmm. We're basically the same, man. If this were tempting empty, really? Let's copy this code. Not changing. Mmm, man. Where is the problem? With this? Hmm? Still? Hmm? I know. Where it is? I just uh, first try this code. To see if it's really fast. Ah, I don't know. So it's uh, just a random thing. Okay, forget all about this. Uh, we're actually doing it the same. The time and space. Uh, as we said, I just write it down again. Time would be all the letters. Uh, space would be O or worst case. Strings. So that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.